Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here. And in today's video, I will be going over some big, big news that occurred last night and some other news that just occurred earlier today. So I'm going to give my opinion on it and see what it looks like. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we should talk about the details of the trade. The San Diego Padres received Blake Snell, a left-handed pitcher, and 2018 AL Cy Young and All-Star. In return, the Tampa Bay Rays got four prospects. The first player the Rays received was Luis Patino, age 21, who's ranked 21 out of 100 in the MLB prospect rankings and should hopefully get a chance at the middle of the end of the rotation as a starter. Patino is also a hopeful promise for the team with his above average fastball and breaking ball, but does have some other pitches that need to be worked on, but he has plenty of time. The next player the Tampa Bay Rays have received is right-handed pitcher Cole Wilcox, also age 21, and was the 80th overall pick in the 2020 draft. He completed a 3-0 record with a 1.57 ERA over a couple of his past starts before his college baseball season was cut due to the ongoing pandemic. The next two players the Rays received are both catchers, Blake Hunt and Francisco Mejia. Starting off with Mejia, he gives the team another choice as catcher, as the Rays have re-signed Mike Zunino earlier this offseason. Mejia has had some struggles in the past, though with the Cleveland Indians. With four seasons attached, he was a hit. 225 with 12 long balls. He should get a role with the Rays, but they'll hope for the best production-wise. As a backup, he can even play outfield. The last player the Rays received is Blake Hunt, age 22, who was in the second round of the 2017 MLB Amateur Draft. Hunt is 6'3", 215 pounds, and the catcher has been looked at highly by the Rays organization for his high potential. Now that the San Diego Padres have received Blake Snell, this would be very beneficial for their starting rotation, as Snell owns a 3.24 ERA in over five big league seasons. He seemingly looks to fit well in the city of San Diego, where the Padres have wanted to sign a catcher ever since Mike Clevenger got Tommy John surgery, which had a negative look on the team due to signing him and having surgery months prior. Snell and Lamette would most likely sit at the first and second spot of the rotation, having Zach Davies and Chris Paddock most likely in the third or fourth spot, and the fifth spot can go to a prospect, potentially Mackenzie Gore most likely. That is a solid rotation if you ask me. This is the biggest trade occurring so far this offseason. In my opinion, Blake Snell, who has spent his career so far with a small team, with a small fan base, and a low payroll, has gone to a big city with high hopes going ahead. Though Snell left a career behind with the Rays in a negative way by not having trust in his manager, Kevin Cash, and losing the World Series. His future looks very shiny with a shiny new team. My personal opinion over this trade is I am for it. I think the Padres really need a starting pitcher. They were aggressive. They went out. And I think the Rays, they love their prospects. And this is how they get the prospects. Because they are cheap, they get good guys through prospects. And I think the Rays love their farm team, so this is great for them. My only concern with having prospects is they could be so hyped up, and then when they get to the big leagues, it's a whole different game out there. So we'll just have to wait and see. But so far, this trade is looking good. I'd like to point out, as making this video, the Padres have signed Hassan Kim to a deal who will be the Padres shortstop. I think that is a great deal, and also I am now reading the San Diego Padres are interested in pursuing you, Darvish. This would be crazy if this happened. But please, feel free to let me know in the comments. Do you agree with this trade, and then also the new acquiring of the shortstop pass on Kim, or do you disagree? Do you think the Rays were, you know, cheaped out? Please, feel free to let me know in the comments. Till next time, baseball fans, see ya.